Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing our March favorites. These are all the products we've been loving this past month, so let's get started. We have been recording this video so many times, so just go right <laughs> Okay, so first I'm going to start off with my favorite perfume of March. Um, it's the Someday Perfume by Justin Bieber. <laughs> Sorry, we can't stop laughing. Okay, so the packaging is like really pretty. It has like a rose heart top kind of thing and it has little like dangly things and I don't know exactly how to describe the smell like it's like not really fruity it's kind of like flowery a little bit it's but like, like sweet I, yeah it's just like sweet because I'm not like a fan of just like flowery scents but I really like this a lot it's not like too sweet or overpowering it's just really good and I love it um, my favorite perfume this month which I've used like the whole thing is Inner Grace, and it's one of the perfumes from, what are those body? Philosophy. Philosophy. It's one of the philosophy perfumes. It's just like the mini version, and what does it smell like to you? It smells like, it's almost like, like fresh, cottony kind of smell, but not like, but not like the Bath and Body yeah. Works spray. It's like kind of fruity, flowery, it's like cotton. fresh and springy smelling. It is extremely fresh, and I love the scent. It's just really... Refreshing. Mm, I agree. So, next, we're doing face products. You can just go into Okay, yours. so. Wait, you mean like skincare? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, my first skincare product, actually, my only skincare product, um, is the Clean and Clear Deep Cleaning Astringent, which is pretty much just like a toner. And it's for sensitive skin, it has salicylic, so salicylic, I can't say that, salicylic acid acne medication. Sounds just, Yeah, it just looks like this. And, um, I got it in like a double pack for like. I don't know, like six dollars, so that's pretty good. And actually, it was like less than that. Anyway, um, so I already used my whole first bottle. This is my second bottle, and um, you just put it on like a cotton pad or something, and like put it all over your face. And after I started using this, I noticed a big difference uh, difference in my skin. And I don't even have that bad acne, but like it just completely like takes care of like all like your pimples and like redness and everything. So I really like it. Um, my face product today is actually a moisturizer because I have really dry skin, uh, especially since the weather is changing. It's been really bad lately. So I got the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion, and it just looks like this. I also have the travel size in this. And I love using this after I use, like, the toner that I bought from Clinique, or I just, like, cleanse my face. I just always use this. I keep it in my purse and just it's really good to apply throughout the day. And you can put it right over your foundation. It's not greasy or oily at all. So I love using that. So. Actually, I have the um, moisturizing gel by that, so if you have oily skin or like combination oily skin, I suggest the gel rather than the lotion, but if you have dry skin, then the lotion is the best. But anyway, um, I'm going to show my favorite foundation, and um, I actually like bought this a long time ago, but I ended up coming back to it because I realized like there's no other foundation like better than this that I've actually tried, and it's the Revlon Color Stay, and I'm in the color Fresh Beige you're wondering and um i've tried like so many foundations and even like higher end foundations and none of them compare to the color stay because i have like combination oily skin so like makeup tends to like slide off my face but this stays on all day and it like looks really matte and like perfect and even if you don't have oily skin there's one for um like dry skin this says it's for combination oily skin so it's like perfect and i love it and she's actually tried this too haven't you yeah it's really good i have the photo ready one too which has like little sparkles on it but yeah um my favorite um i guess you could kind of consider it a foundation because <laughs> it's really high coverage it's the mac mineralized skin finish it's supposed to just be a powder but it kind of gives you a lot of coverage and i'm in light plus and it just looks like this it's like a dome kind of weird um it's really expensive i don't know if it's worth the money like you might want to just buy like the photo ready or what was it the color stay color powder stay, we yeah. use from revlon because i think that's just as good but this has like a weird like texture to it and i actually kind of like it it <clears throat> feel like mattifies my face but it has a little bit of like natural like shimmers in it but they're not really noticeable it just makes your <laughs> face look a little like healthier and kind of glows a little bit so i really like this i don't know if i'm gonna be repurchasing purchasing it but the packaging already broke and i didn't even bring it anywhere it just stayed in my house one day when i like opened it something popped out so uh, i don't know if it's worth 32 dollars so i <laughs> i like it but i've been using it a lot 
just to like see how it is on my skin. So, yeah. um, <laughs> just if you're wondering why my hand's moving, it's because <laughs> it's because my dog is right here. Layla. Her name is Layla, and oh, oh. she's <laughs> that's scary. scary. She's a wee whoa. She's a wiener dog. She's a wiener dog. Let's show her. Ready? Pick up her front, and I'll pick up. Layla. She's actually like a mini wiener, so she's not big. She's only small, even though she's like one and one and a half. One, one and a half. She can be two in August, July, yeah. June. I don't know. She's July. July. Just gonna down. Yeah, but <laughs> she's so cute. She looks kind of scary. On this video. I promise you, her eyes don't really look like that. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move on, and I'm actually gonna show two products at once because I fused them together, but. Um, I got this Sonia Kashuk, uh, stippling brush, and it's, like, really sparkly and pretty, and it came in, like, a big set, and I kind of wanted it just because it was so sparkly, like, okay. I don't know if you can see, but it's wicked sparkly, and, um, this is, like, uh, kind of, like, a deluxe sample size of the Bella Bomba, Bella Bomba blush by, <laughs> I said that weird, by, Bella Bomba. <laughs> by, um, benefit and it looks like that we're like really far away from the computer so i'm like trying to hold it out and it's not really showing up as good on the webcam but it's just like a really bright um pink sparkly color and i really like using the stippling brush to apply this because i feel like it makes it look like more natural when you apply it with a stippling brush rather than just like a regular blush brush so um yeah i really like that and i've been using it like every day um, my product is also <coughs> a blush that I'm going to be showing you, and it's one of the ELF, is it the studio? Yeah. I think it's an ELF studio Ooh. blush in Candid Coral, and it's, I wouldn't really call it a coral, it's kind of like peachy. Yeah, it's more peachy. Right? And it's got a little bit of shimmer in it, you can't even see it, it looks like a nude blush right now, but. Well, because we turned down the yeah. lighting on the screen. But right? I don't know if you can even see that, probably not, it's just a really <coughs> natural <coughs> blush. That adds a little bit of a pink color to your cheeks and a little bit of shimmer. Um, it looks really pretty. It's going to look even better with a tan. And I think it'd be good on all complexions. Because if you're a darker skin tone, this will show up really good because it's like a peachy coral. Um, and then if you're really fair, it's still going to show up on you. So I think it's going to be really good with a tan in the summer. So I'm really excited. And they're only $3 as compared to like my NARS blush, which was $24. Um, I think you can definitely match like the NARS Orgasm blush to like one of the elf blushes for three dollars rather than 24 so that's one of my favorite products this month okay so the next thing i'm going to show you is my favorite pair of sunglasses and i know that spring like just recently started but like it's been pretty sunny out and there's actually been like one week that was really really nice i was in like the 70s and 80s and um i got these sunglasses from forever 21 let's see it's off <laughs> and they kind of look weird on here but they're, they're really just, like, cute. Yeah, they're like floral and just like really, really pretty. And I get like a lot of my sunglasses at Forever 21 just because they're like inexpensive and they have wicked cute ones. And um, yeah, I really like them a lot. They're really cute. The next thing I'm going to show you are actually the nail polishes I have on my hand and then just like a base coat what about hardener. Your yeah, I'll show my sunglasses after too. Um, so my nail polish, I kind of went with like an Easter theme. Layla jumped in. I did like um, a lavender, uh, it's called Lily actually by Revlon. Um, and then I did like mint green on my other two fingers for some reason. But um, I've been using the Beauty Secrets Hardener as a base coat and a top coat. And it's been making my nails so much stronger. Like my nails were so long last week. I had to cut them, but... Um, they're getting like really strong instead of flimsy like they used to be so I really recommend you guys pick this up if you have weaker nails um, I'm not sure why like what's in it to make it so good it doesn't really have the ingredients on here but you can get it at Sally's for like four dollars maybe six I'm not positive but I really like that and I definitely recommend that product okay so the next thing I'm gonna show hold on I have it inside this place it's actually like a few things but it's all like one is like big dangly earrings like I've been wearing them so much lately I'll show you like a few of my parents because I really like them I think these are wicked cool they're from forever 21 and I'm like off yeah, you can see the leopard yeah they're like cheetah leopard whatever and they're so like cute. threaded like I don't know how to explain that they're kind of reminding me of like dream catchers for some reason but like not really and then I have like oh these are stuck together <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Then I have like these ones. And then I have these ones. And I just really like. And then I have these ones. But I have like obviously like more earrings with that. But those are just like I really like big dangly earrings. And I've been wearing them so much lately. So I wanted to share them. Yeah. Okay. I dropped one. So <laughs> my next item I'm going to be showing you because it isn't a product. Um, it's not beauty related. It's also a pair of sunglasses. And they're just like, I'm, what style is this? Um, I don't even know. I honestly don't know what to call that. I don't know what style this is either, but these are brown. I think I got them at Aeropostale last year. Um, but you can definitely find these at like Forever 21. I'm pretty sure I got them for like $10 too. But like they're kind of interesting pattern on them. It kind it's of like looks like leopard. Shell. Yeah, actually it is. Um, that was weird. <laughs> but <laughs> the way I said that. It has like these gold little details on the side. Just like a little thing to add to the glasses. I don't know. I wear them like every day when I'm driving. So I really like those and I've been getting a lot of use out of them. So really excited. It's getting warmer so I'll be able to wear those more. Okay, so the last product I'm going to show is like a fashion related product. Um, is this purse. And it has like the chain. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like that. And it's kind of like, um, like similar to like the Chanel bag, but it's from Delia's. And I really like Delia's a lot. And, um, and it has like leverage inside. I don't know, see why that really matters. That it's I like silk, it cool. too. It's yeah, cool. and it's actually like really good quality. And it was only like $15, but I think it was on sale. But I've been like using this so much because I feel like it's so. Why do I keep putting it out of the frame? But um, I just think it's really cute and I love it. Um, I have two more things I'm gonna be showing you. First, I'm just gonna show you this ring I'm wearing. It's actually hers, but I'm in love with it, and I've really been into wearing rings lately. Um, it's just a little bow ring. This is like a mesh silver with like a little diamond in the center. So it's just cute and it adds a lot to an outfit. Just like a simple accessory. It's from it. Forever Twenty One, by the way. Yep. I know that. So. <laughs> um, the mm -hmm. next thing I'm going to show you is a lip product, and I've been loving the Revlon lip butters, which I've showed, I'm pretty sure I showed them in our last video, but this one is in Sweet Tart, and most of the time if I'm wearing one, it's either this one or um, like a nude colored one, but it's just so easy to put on, and my lips have been dry lately, so I just kind of put it like, you can put a chapstick on before it, but these are really moisturizing, so I just put this on like all day in school. I also just like swatched it right there, but I know she has one. She loves hers. Like they're so cheap compared to high-end products, and they're really moisturizing. So I love those. We've been getting a lot of use out of them. Is that all of our products and stuff? Yeah. Do you have anything else? All right. So that's yeah. it for this March favorites video. We haven't really made a video for like a while, um, but we really wanted to make this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry we messed up so many times, too. Yeah. We're, like, really hyped for No, today. we're just in, like, a really, like, crazy mood, and we re-recorded this about, like, 20 times at least. You say that. And <laughs> we just <laughs> couldn't stop laughing, so if we messed up or laughed in this video, we're sorry, but, um, we hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys next time. Next time! <laughs> <laughs> Which hopefully will be before our April favorites because oh yeah, we waited like two months. And plus, vacation's coming up soon, so hopefully we'll make one like no. So Bring her back in the picture. No, she's not gonna like, come here. She, but, thank <laughs> you so much for watching um, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye! Bye! How do I stop it? Press the stop button. <laughs>